بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ایم فرام لاہور پاکستان اینڈ آئی ٹیچ آئی ایلس ان لاہور سو ہاؤ یو ڈوئنگ فیلنگ کانفیڈینٹ اوکے سو فار وی ہیو سالو ٹین کویشچن اینڈ آئی ہیو ٹاچ یو اباؤٹ تھری ٹائپس آف کویشچن اینڈ ناؤ یو آر کلیئر اباؤٹ دیز تھری ٹائپس آف کویشچن اینڈ وین ایور دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بی دیئر یو کین ڈو اٹ ود مائی ٹپس You're going to get eight or nine bands in listening and you can get it. Many of my online students, they are getting very good bands. So you can get good bands and then you can share your result through WhatsApp or through YouTube comment. And then I'm going to congratulate you for that. Okay. Personally, Asad Yaakov will congratulate you. Okay. Now we got the question type that is multiple choice with multiple answers. First it was multiple choice with multiple questions, something like that, with multiple options, but now multiple choice with multiple answers. Okay, what is it? Take a look. This is the question type. We've got two questions, which two activities for school groups and all that, and then there are A, B, C, D, E, two options you got to choose. Multiple choice with multiple answers means you got to choose two options to answer one question. It is question number 11. And you got to choose two options so it is equal to one mark one one correct answer right and if there are two questions and then you got to pick up two options that might give you two scores or that might give you two marks so question 11 two options will give you one mark question 12 two options will give you one mark and this type of questions is called multiple choice with multiple answers okay good Task guide for multiple choice with multiple answers. Let's see. This task requires you to answer each question by choosing two correct options. You got to choose two correct options. In order to receive one mark for these questions, you need to choose both correct options. There is no half mark for choosing only one correctly. If you choose one option correctly and the second incorrectly, you'll not get any, any mark for that. The length of the recording that you hear in this type of task will be less than when there is one mark for each correct answer. If there is one mark for each correct answer, the length of recording is going to be more. But here the length of recording is going to be less than that. If there are two ans answers and that's equal to two marks, then the audio is longer. But here the audio is going to be short. You will probably hear some reference to each of the options on the list. You will hear some reference. They might talk about all the options on the list, right? It is therefore important that you are clear what you are listening for. You should be very clear what you are listening for. If you are listening for which two facilities are closed in winter, now you know two facilities which are closed in winter. I'm listening for that. I'm not listening for the facilities that remain open throughout winter as well. Okay? Yeah, that's the thing. All right, the options are usually listed alphabetically like A, B, C, D, E. Five options if there are. The options don't follow the order in which you will hear the information on the recording. Options don't follow that. They might talk about any option anytime. Make sure you read the list of possible answers very carefully. They are often quite similar. All the possible answers, they are quite similar. So you got to just do this thing. step by step guide welcome back with step by step guide now i'm going to guide you for multiple choice with multiple answers and we're going to see what sort of tips do you need to solve multiple choice with multiple answers and sometimes it's difficult a lot of you ask me give us the tips for multiple choice with multiple answers and here i am giving you the tips on demand okay step by step guide step one think first what The words on the recording may or may not be the same as the words in the options. It's understood. In the options, if the word is drama workshop, they can use some other word for that. If in the option, the word is garden sculpture experience, they might use some other words for that. But you got to keep the gist in mind, actually. So prepare yourself for hearing various ways of describing the options on the list. For example, option A is drama workshop. You may hear drama workshops, but you may also hear workshops involving drama. Okay, instead of drama workshops, they might say workshops involving drama. That's what they can say. 
practical activities using drama instead of using the word drama workshops they are going to use the word practical activities using drama activities that involve acting acting means drama got it activities that involve acting and so on so they will try their level best to confuse you so don't just listen for the word drama workshop and you say I'm, I'm listening I'm waiting for the word drama workshop and there they use the word activities that involve acting and you not notice your pen does not move and the answer is gone then you realize one thing comes out oh hi okay oh hi so that's going to happen those who understand Punjabi Urdu they know what I mean by oh hi like that okay anyways if you prepare yourself like this you'll be more likely to understand whether option A is the correct answer to question 11 or option B and all that stuff look at options C and D can you think of different ways to describe them now let's start with the transcript and we'll solve one question now look at this part of the tape script underline the words that relates to options C and D are the words used in the tape script the same as in the options are they similar to words you predict now listen to the tape script and look at the multiple choice questions it's multiple choice with multiple answers let's start it's nice to see so many of you here I'm going to tell you something about Holy Lands Holy Lands is a place they're talking about that our facilities and activities and the exhibitions we have coming up I hope you'll find it interesting and bring your pupils along for most of what we have to offer here you can just turn up with your party I am pleased to say that recent work has meant that the whole center is prepared for blind visitors the whole center is prepared for blind visitors now you can see there are certain options for example we've, we've got the options we'll discuss about them as well there are a couple of activities where we ask you to book a week in advance there are a couple of activities where we actually ask you to book a week in advance we only have artists that you can watch painting at certain times so we need notice of coming for that now what is that the question is which two activities for school groups need to be booked one week in advance and there they said we ask you to book a week in advance for that they say we only have artists that you can watch painting at certain times so we need notice of your coming for that artists that you can watch painting and the option is basically painting demonstrations right so which two activities for for school groups need to be booked one week in advance that is painting demonstration got it see now they talked about painting demonstration first and then they would talk about garden sculpture or drama workshop and all that stuff step three think about what you hear option D now what is option D that is about tours for the blind now they say blind visitors are mentioned but there do not seem to be tours for the blind and there is no requirement to book a certain number of days in advance for the blind for the tours of the blind there is no need to book that in advance actually that's what they are saying in here so although you hear something about blind people you do not hear the answer to the question you should not choose option D as an answer next is option C in this case painting demonstrations now they say in this case painting demonstrations has become artist that you can watch paintings now paint instead of painting demonstration in the audio they've used the word artists that you can watch painting you hear that because Holy Lands only has artists at certain times they need notices right for that you can just choose that because they need notice for that this notice links to the previous sentence activities where we ask you to book a week in advance right so you hear something about options C and D but only option C is the correct answer got it okay well done now you try the task I play the audio right this is what you're going to do now you're going to try the task and after that I will come back with answer keys Now listen to the first part of the talk 
and answer questions 11 and 12. It's nice to see so many of you here. I'm going to tell you something about Hollylands, our facilities and activities, and the exhibitions we have coming up. I hope you'll find it interesting and bring your pupils along. <laughs> For most of what we have to offer here, you can just turn up with your party. I'm pleased to say that recent work has meant that the whole centre is prepared for blind visitors. There are a couple of activities where we ask you to book a week in advance. We only have artists that you can watch painting at certain times, so we need notice of your coming for that. The other activity requiring at least seven days' notice is the drama workshop. Again, it's a question of organising the staff at this end. But the video, you work yourself, and so that's available any time. Another activity where you need to think ahead is the garden sculpture experience, but that's a question of the weather, which of course we can't control. <laughs> Speaking of weather, we run a reduced range of facilities in the winter months. While the cafe and the shop provide welcome shelter from the cold and rain, I'm afraid our artist in residence scheme isn't run in the winter, so the studio is closed then. And the animals in the mini zoo are kept indoors for warmth during the cold months, so that doesn't operate either. The adventure playground does, though <laughs> make sure the children are wrapped up well. Welcome back with Answer Key. How was that? Mm? Okay, let's check your answer, then we'll get to know how your answers are, whether they are correct or incorrect. Question number 11, the answer is C and A, or A and C, right? Note, all the activities are mentioned, but only two require, but only two require booking in advance. And these two activities are drama workshop and painting demonstrations. They talked about all the activities, but only two activities require advance uh, uh, booking right we need notice of your coming for that for option c they say then they say and requiring at least seven days notice for option a so option a and option c they are correct for question number 11 got it let's go on question number 12 what is your answer huh okay let's see Note, all the facilities are mentioned, but only two are closed in the winter. Basically, they talked about two facilities which are closed in the winter. So, two are closed in the winter, isn't run in the winter. They use the word isn't run in the winter. So, the studio is closed. Studio is closed. That means artist studio. B is one option. Which two facilities are closed in winter, right? After that, the next one is then they say, and during the cold months, then option B. And during the cold months, so that doesn't operate option D. Option D is mini zoo. They take the animals inside to keep them from the cold, right? So definitely during the cold months, so that doesn't operate. And that is option D, their mini zoo. Got it? Okay, I hope you will find these tips helpful, all the tips which I've given you and which I'll give you in the next few uh, videos. So I hope you'll find all these tips useful and you got to apply these tips on the test. If you like this video, hit on the like button, subscribe my channel, share these videos and don't forget to comment as well. Your comments will guide me what to do next. And I also teach IELTS online. If anyone wants to join my online IELTS class, just call me and I'll give you the details about online classes and I charge for online classes, okay? Thank you very much. Asad Yako wishes you all the best. When I say I wish you all the best, I wish you some band which should be this, this, this or this. Take care. Bye-bye.